what is the correct form of mewing when I make a suck or swallow motion inside my mouth with the teeth and lip gently closed. The tongue rises and gently touches the palate like my head resting snugly on a pillow. I feel a tightening in the muscles under my chin and around the neck airway. Is that correct? Here we go, what is in proper form? I will never forget listening to a colleague of mine pontificate about where the end position, whether the tongue should be touching the back of the teeth or the gums or where at back. And he was pontificating and he was, I, I let him just go on because really you've got no modern humans who are anywhere close natural form. I would imagine that what you've got is you've fallen into a path, a swallowing pattern that is probably deep bite, okay? From the description you're saying here. And so when you are trying to gain a suction hold, you are, your tongue wants to stretch out sideways and you're pulling that together. And that is probably tensing up the styloglossus muscle or maybe even the stylohyoid ligament. So, I mean, I noticed the muscles running up, you know, the, the, there's, when you look at the literature, you'll see there's um, a, um, a relationship between in the postural innovation, remember that, that you've got different postural innovation centers because clearly, you know, you run one moment, you stand another moment. These are two very different functions you do. The muscles are innovated from different centers. And so the same postural center, God, that's a long way of saying something simple, is affecting um, the deep cervical muscles and the back third of the tongue. So we know these muscles are all involved in posture of the head. For most people, with your tongues hanging open, <laughs> it's not involved in the posture of your head. And funny old thing, uh, people's heads fall forward. So that's another reason people are getting forward head posture, apart from all of the other aforementioned things like blocking people's noses, they have to hold their head forward because they lack tongue space. Hey, you ask, is it true that having one but not the other would constitute improper form? You've got improper form and you've probably had improper function your entire life because we nearly all do. So it's really difficult to start to unpack everything going on here without clearly physically seeing you. And even if I did physically see you, remember, I can't actually look inside your mouth while you're functioning or posturing.